Why do we procrastinate? There are many reasons for procrastination. Maybe you lack self-belief that you'll be able to do what you set out to do. Maybe it's the illusion of tomorrow that there's enough time in hand. Or a hidden fear that's unconsciously holding you back. Or maybe even a combination of the above mentioned reasons. One way to figure out why you procrastinate is to observe your actions and your state of mind when you're actively procrastinating. If it's something like pressing the snooze button on your alarm clock and failing to wake up early to go for an early morning run, then you're living in the illusion of time, that there's plenty of time to do what you want. But let enough time pass and you'll notice that you've become resigned about the situation. And you can't even pinpoint as to which day you became resigned. The lesson here is time is finite. It's here and now, neither tomorrow nor next Monday. Whenever you catch yourself procrastinating, tell yourself out loud, it's now or never. And if you can live with the prospect of never and all that comes with it, sure, go ahead and procrastinate. But I promise you, if you actually choose to take action, you'll feel a gush of energy reverberate throughout your body. And that feeling of accomplishment you'll have at the end of the run or whatever it was, it will make it one of the better days you've had in long, long time. But maybe you're not lost in the illusion of time. When procrastinating, do you find yourself doing less important things? Things that are lower on the priority scale? If that's the case, you probably lack clarity Ask yourself, is this what I really want? What will my life look like if I do this? And what will it look like if I don't? Does it align with my identity or the identity I want to create for myself going forward? It's vital to write down these answers on paper instead of keeping them in your head. Over the span of a week or so, Revisit, reread, and edit your answers if required. Do it enough times, and eventually, you'll be rewarded with crystal clear clarity about what you truly want. Another common way to procrastinate is consumption. Do you find yourself smoking or eating even when it's not meal time, or consuming content, or in general, wasting time away? and feeling guilty afterwards, then you likely have an unconscious fear that's stopping you from doing what you really want. Fear of failure, of not being good enough, of not getting the desired results despite doing everything you're supposed to, or fear of losing something along the way are some of the common fears that result in procrastination. When it comes to fears, there's usually a lot to unroll to get to the source of the fear. It can be one's past, faulty perception, self-limiting beliefs, etc. But one thing's absolutely clear. Your fears are irrational. There's absolutely no way of knowing if you're indeed not good enough or that you'll fail or whatever the case may be unless you actually try. Now, I know it's easier said than done. Why is that so? Because it's impossible for people to get to the root of their own fears. Nobody, absolutely nobody has the self-awareness to dig into the source and uproot what's been stopping them. You don't know what you don't know. If you knew, you'd be unstoppable. As simple as that. So does that mean there's no hope? Hi, my name is Nishant and I empower people for a living. I'm a certified life coach and NLP practitioner who specializes in helping people discover what they truly want and bring it to life. Check out my website, kissolife.com for more information about the services I offer. You can also email me at info at kissolife.com or connect with me on my socials, links to which you can find on my website. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel if you found some value in this piece of content.